Hey, what's going on, Webflow Gods? Today, I'm going to show you how to make a stagger from bottom text animation that I see on a lot of award-winning websites. We're going to use GSAP. We'll get it done in four easy steps. It's going to be a fantastic day. All right, first thing, let's get some text on the page. Stagger from bottom. Let's make it a little bigger. Say five rem. Give it some line height, and we will set the overflow to hidden. Okay, let's give it a good class name like Web A Rules. That sounds good. And that's all we're gonna do for that. We're gonna pop into the custom code section of our page. Today, I said we're gonna be using GSAP. We're also gonna be using this split type library because split text in GSAP costs money, and we don't want to pay money. All right, so we're gonna grab it from the CDN, which stands for Cloud De Delivery Network. Fancy name. We're gonna paste that right there. And we'll go to the GSAP installation page. We'll do the same thing. Copy that, paste that. We're gonna open some script tags. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say, create a variable, we'll call it uh, my text equals new split tech type. And this takes a class name or an ID, whatever you want to give it, some sort of selector. And in this case, we're going to give it web a rules. And then we're going to access the GSAP object. We're going to create a from animation. This takes two parameters. The first one is an element. We want to give it my text dot characters or chars. And the, the split type gives us access to this dot chars property, which is going to split and create an individual span uh, for each letter within my text. And then we're going to pass it a GSAP object. We're going to animate the Y position from 100%. Oh, we need to wrap this in quotes. And we are going to apply a stagger time of, let's say, 0 0.1 seconds. Let's go ahead and save. And publish. And there you have it, a wonderful stagger from bottom animation. We can customize this. We come in here. We could say words here. Oops, not rods, words. And we can make a longer stagger. All right, if that was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It definitely helps me out a lot and I'd be very appreciative. Additionally, make sure you check the description box below because I'm gonna put a ton of useful links down there, including a link to my custom Web Bay code snippets library. This thing's got a bunch of code snippets that I use every day in Webflow and it's growing. It's always growing. I'm adding more custom animations and just code to make your life easier. So simplify your life, check out these code snippets and like and subscribe. Thanks again.